Welcome to the Slovenian coast. This lovely little place here is called Seča and it's right next to the Sečulia salt pans. The Sicholia and Strunian salt pans are some of the last salt pans in the Mediterranean where the salt is still harvested by hand. This tradition has helped preserve the natural environment and also made it a habitat for a variety of bird species. So far, 296 species have been counted on the Sicholia salt pans alone. So, I'm here on the Slovenian coast, start of a one week trip down here on the coast. We're staying in Sicholia, which is the, also the uh, region where the salt pans are, where they still actively make salt. And as you've just seen in some of the B-roll, and I've just showed you, this area where we are now is called Seča. And directly opposite are the salt pans, and directly over this way is Camp Lucia and Porto Roche. The Potoroš is the Slovenian Riviera, you could say. So, during this week, I hope to get some really lovely shots of this beautiful coastline. It's really nice down here. Now, just around the corner is Camp Lucia, where you can camp. But this area, actually, we found is much, much nicer. There's a small beach here for the kids, because we've got kids, so it's ideal for us, actually. And... Uh, it's, it's also nice because you've got some uh, old boats moored here, you've got the uh, salt pans directly opposite, and you've got a view across the bay to Croatia already. So this is a nice little area. If you go to the end of the road, if you go to the village Seča, and then follow this river, follow this road, sorry, along the river, and you come to this area here. Now there's a cactus garden, as you can see, there's, a, there's some parking here. Now the parking is one euro per hour, so it's a very good deal. Over there is the cactus garden. And somewhere around here is a fish farm. It's a great area for cycling, as you can see. Now the road here at the restaurant turns into then a nice little path that you can walk and cycle along right the way around to Camp Lucia. So you can park here. This is the public car park, which I said is just one euro per hour. So it's a very good deal for this area. 
and there is a uh, Rivich, which is the uh, seafood restaurant. And in front of Rivich, you've got a nice grassy area with a little stony beach, which is ideal if you've got kids like we have. And this area here then turks in, turns into a little promenade, which you can walk and cycle all the way around to uh, Camp Lucia. And I'm hoping, as I can see from here, there are some lovely views. This is going to make a nice place for photographs this evening. And in the distance, over there, is the Sicholia salt pans. And you get some lovely views across the bay, which over there, I believe, is Croatia. And this is the beach bar and seafood restaurant. Over there Hi. seems to be a mini regatta coming this way. So the, so the good thing about shooting at sunset is that because the sun is visible before your photo shoot, you can actually use the AR, the R augmented reality, but you can do a visual calibration because the sun is still visible. So you can really make sure that you've got it lined up perfectly. There we go. And click confirm. Now we have a perfect trajectory and now we can see exactly where the sun is going to set and the sun is going to set exactly over there just to the to the right over there is actually Croatia already and the Savudria Peninsula so I can see that this evening the sun is going to set just to the right of the end of that peninsula in Croatia so between there and over there is Portorosh already. So that's where the sun is going to set this evening. So here's my sunset for the evening on the Slovenian coast, looking across to Croatia. That's Croatia over there, the Savudria Peninsula and the sun's going down just to the right of it over the Italian Dolomites over there. I assume that's the Italian Dolomites. We'll have a look on Peak Finder in a minute and we'll see exactly what mountains they are. And there to the right of all of this is Portoroche. And this walkway, this lovely promenade here, walks all the way around from that um, restaurant and around to Lucia, Camp Lucia, to be precise. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. Let's look at Peak Finder. It will tell us what mountains we're looking at. It's fantastic. Really useful app. Now that beautiful conical peak over there is this one. Monte Durano, I think. There it is. Monte Durano. And all those other peaks, these are all the other peaks we're looking at from here. Beautiful. There we go. These are obviously the Italian Dolomites we're looking at from here. And then over here, all of these mountains here to around where the sun is going down. The sun is going down right there. Peak Finder even tells you where the sun's going to go down, just like the augmented reality. It's going down at two minutes to eight. Right, actually over those mountain peaks there. They are far in the distance, but with the 400 millimeter lens, we should get a good shot from here. <laughs> the sun is going down right now. Over those mountains behind me. I've got set up with a 400mm lens so I can zoom right in close to the sun going down right over those mountains there 
uh, right on the horizon so it's perfect absolutely perfect evening you can see I got uh, F16 ISO 400 200 one two hundredth of a second nice and fast and biggest reason for that is first of all long exposure when the sun's in the shot like this if you do a long exposure you'll just get the sun all blurred second of all quite often boats or yachts sail right into the sun trail and if you're not got a fast enough shutter speed set then it'll end up being blurred and quite often they happen quite quickly so it's good when you're shooting uh, a scene like this to think ahead and in this case I want to be sure I've got a fast enough shutter speed that certainly first of all I certainly don't blur the sun and second of all any boats that come in I can react quickly and get them sailing right into that sun trail I'll show you one I got earlier Wow, what a great sunset. Now it's the time for long exposures. Now the sun's gone down over the uh, horizon. Now the sun's not actually visible in the picture. Now we can get some long exposures. I'm doing a 30 second exposure now. I'll show you that in a minute. Well, beautiful end to our second day on the coast. Yeah. <laughs> 